Hey, so what's up guys? So today I wanna to share with you guys a dream that I had about a month ago and initially I ignored it, uh, but then a few weeks after that, the Lord really convicted me again by showing me the dream again, and as well as its interpretation and biblical passages that really support the message that God wants me to share. And so before I share the dream, one thing I wanna caveat is that, and, and just, just share quickly is that, to be honest, from a personal and fleshly perspective, sharing dreams and and its interpretations is not something that I enjoy doing because it comes off very uh, it may come off very um, you know controversial it may come off as something that may not be necessarily uh, something that people might really believe but I do believe and scripture says this is that in the last days that uh, men will dream dreams that um, you know daughters and sons they'll have visions and all these different things right where the Lord will use prophetic interpretation he will use and bring people to come to deliver the message that he that the Lord really wants people to hear in those times for those that really uh, desire and have a boldness and a, and a uh, desire to want to share these things and so in the process of the last few years for me where I've really through a lot of circumstances and difficulties I've humbled myself to come to to the Lord and and have asked the Lord Lord um, and I pray this on a nearly daily basis right like anything that you want me to do I will do for you Lord and I have no and Lord you know that I have no shame and you know that I'm not um, you know I don't shy away from some from these things as long as you empower me and you give me that wisdom and you give me that uh, validation and that push and, and the Holy Spirit to lead me, I will do it, Lord. And so the, those are the things, and that's the posture that I come from. And so given that, though personally, like Jonah, right? Like I, I don't want, I almost don't want to share these things and I want just structured, nice, clean videos that may have five bullet points and all that. But in some of these videos, the Lord really is convicting me to share and to really give that encouragement through this other way and through this other, other lens. And so with that, as a caveat, I want to share this, uh, but I know that it's from the Lord. It's something that I've prayed through and that I really want to give as a word of encouragement. And it's going to be encouraging for many, but it's also going to be rebuking for others. You may not like it. Those that have this in their heart may not like it. And if this is you, I, it is a warning, but it is also an encouragement to you. And so with that, I'll share the dream. So the way that the Lord showed me this dream was that I was in an office space and I was walking around in a place where there was desks everywhere people were kind of settling in I didn't see that many people but I knew right away it was a new environment the new normal from after COVID-19 where people are working in different spots in different kind of ways I saw a new desk that I had and I was about to you know uh, to work but then I, I just wanted to kind of take a look around so as I was as I was assessing the situation and kind of the things around me I walked over and passed you know, several people and one of the people that I passed, and again, this may or may not be a coworker, I'm just saying it was just a person that I saw that I knew by name in the dream. I saw this person working and I saw this person just really you know, in just the most shocking state. Like the person was working, but the way that he was uh, presenting himself, uh, and I'll just, I'll just show it to you and you can laugh at this, but the, this is what he was doing basically. He was trying to worship the Lord but he thought he was worshiping worshiping the Lord but he really wasn't and so this is the kind of posture that I saw he was like this and it was like he was like singing and like worshiping the Lord but he was mocking it right and I was such I was in such shock and awe of what he was doing that as I was walking I, I just like encircled him I was like walking and I was like circling past them just to see if it was legit and it was so, it felt so real and so legit that I was just like, man, like, what is that guy doing? Like, he shouldn't be doing that, right? And that's when I woke up. And so I brushed that dream off. I, I just kind of noted the dream and then I was just like, man, that was a really weird dream. So I, I just noted that dream and basically I went about the week. And shortly afterwards, about a week or two later, the Lord showed me that dream again and convicted me this time with its interpretation and a couple of passages he just gave me those passages and said look Chris I want you to share this and I want you to kind of proclaim this message to the people that are listening and so I reluctantly said okay and so I, I've just been in meditation and prayer this whole time until now where I finally had a chance to kind of give this to you but the Lord has really just been pressing it upon my heart to say this uh, ever since that that time which is about a month ago and so 
I'll go ahead and I'll share what the stream is. I'll give you the passages, and then I want to share just a couple of words of encouragement, as well as a big warning for those that are watching this video. So, basically, the Lord uh, wanted me to remind two groups of people, and so the first group of people that I wanted that He wants me to remind is those that God talks about in Matthew chapter seven, where it says. I think it's in chapter, uh, verse 21 where it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those that do the will of my Father in heaven, right? And it goes on to say that a lot of people will come to, to Jesus on, on judgment day or on, in, the, in the final, uh, that final time where, and he'll say, Lord, did we not do mighty works in your, in your name? Did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? And the Lord will say, um, away from me or, or um, you know, get lost. Uh, I never knew you. And so he will uh, cast those people in, into hell, right? And I say this in the most loving way, but in the most uh, rebuking warning that if you are one of these people, if you, from, from as high as those that are preaching the, the you know, in Catholicism or in, in the, uh, pro, um, uh, the word of uh, faith and healing movements or in prosperity gospel, right? And so if you're in one of these areas, if you're as high as those that are preaching it from the pulpit or if you're as low as leading people astray in uh, proclaiming these things, this is a warning to you because you actually are not saved and you are one to be deceiving. You, the scripture says that people will come in wolves clothing or in sheep's clothing as wolves, right? To deceive those. And this is the last days because in the Bible says that in the last days there will be this uh, this apostasy, right? People that are falling away and turning from the Lord, but also that all these guys will come and do mighty works uh, thinking that it's in the name of the Lord, but it isn't. And so the warning that I have for those is that you will be cast to hell and you will be judged according to your sins unless you repent and come to know the Lord and really proclaim the gospel message and the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and that He's the only way to, uh, to Christ or, or to God and to, to reconciliation. And if you're not preaching that and if you're preaching other things and leading people astray, that is, that is um, going to be judged uh, very harshly and that's eternity in hell. And so if you are thinking that you are worshiping the Lord and saying, Lord, Lord, did we not do these things? You're going to be in for a rude awakening and a big surprise. And the second group that God really wanted me to, to talk to are those that are Christians, actually. And those that uh, may be in a, in a, and I talk about this in my eight spiritual personalities. But if you're in a state where you're not really in a, a relationship with the Lord and you're not really commu in, in communion with the Lord, but, in, in, but instead you are speaking on behalf of what you thought was the Lord. You, you are doing and worship, worshiping, quote unquote, in a way that you think is honoring to the Lord, but it isn't. And you're living a, a reckless life and a, and a half-half type life. Then this is another warning for you. And the Lord put upon my heart, Revelation chapter 3, where it talks about the church of the Laodiceans. And in that chapter, it talks about how uh, the Lord will... Uh, those that are hot, there's those that are hot and cold and are not they're not even hot and cold but rather they're lukewarm and because of that the Lord will spit you out and what the Lord is saying is that for those that are in this place that he is not he's not pleased with that he's not he's not pleased with the people that are lukewarm and in fact he wants he would rather have you be hot or cold if if you're going to be that way but rather because you you're so blinded by the ways of the world you're so comforted by the ways of life and, and the riches of the world that you don't see and you don't you walk in uh, in 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 ways that you think is is again like worshiping the Lord and again you can laugh but this is the truth there are people that think that they're worshiping the Lord but they aren't and you got to be careful you got to repent of your ways and you got to come to the Lord and you got to really come and ask the Lord man what is it that's uh, what is an error in my way and you got to be able to come um, really in humility with that and so. This is a warning for those two types of people that you need to turn and you have to repent and you have to come and ask the Lord to really change your heart and so that you can actually be in the presence of God. And being in the presence of God involves just seeking the Lord in worship through reading of the Word, through prayer, through fasting and through community and being in the church, right? And being in a group of brothers and sisters that can keep you accountable and to push you. And even if you're alone now, that you could at least start by reading and opening the Word of God to, um, to really get yourself right in the right direction. And so 
you know, I would encourage you, again, as a warning, but in a loving response, that if you are in a place where you are thinking that you're worshiping the Lord, you would be very wrong. And the Lord wants me to give this message to you and as uncomfortable and as harsh as it may sound for me. And again, I don't like saying these kind of things to my friends and family or even the viewers in, in, in a selfish way in the fear that people might hate me, right? But again, Jesus says you'll be hated for your faith. And so in tough love and in, in my uh, grace and in, in the way that I want to show this to you, I, I, I encourage you and I implore you to reevaluate where you are in your faith and in your walk with God. Because the last thing you want to do is stand in front of the Lord and say, Lord, Lord, did we not you know, do these things? Like, did, not, did I not worship you? Did, wasn't this enough? No, you would be very wrong. And so please, if it is something that you would um, just can consider and just repent of, uh, please do that. Um, otherwise, this is, um, yeah, this is, this is all I have for this video. And I just wanted to thank you guys and just encourage you guys uh, for the, uh, with this. And so um, until next time, um, God bless you guys.